Hey everyone, I'm Tim Griffin, and I do all the training for the V1 Branded and Mobile Academies. Thanks for tuning in and watching this episode of Tim's Tips. I'll be showing you new tutorials every month on how you can get the most out of your V1 Pro app and your V1 Academy. Today I'll be demonstrating how to record a lesson recap and how to deliver it to your student so they can review it anytime. This can be done in the V1 Pro app if you have an active V1 Branded or Mobile Academy, unlike the V1 Golf app which is for students. So now we'll get started by selecting the V1 Pro app. And the first thing we'll do before we start the lesson is we have to add in our student. You'll do that by clicking on the Students tab at the bottom. Then at the top right, you'll press the plus sign. And the option you'll use the most is Enter Details Myself. And you can fill out the appropriate fields, name, email address, and phone number. That's where the lesson will be delivered. So the first thing I'll do is I'll type in my student's name then his email, and then the phone number. Once this process is finished, you'll click the Done button at the top right, and that'll save your student. So once I've done that, you'll go back by hitting Students. This will take you to the Students tab, and you can see that my current student is selected at the top, if you ever want to change the student so the lesson can go somewhere else, you can always press and hold on a different student's name, and that'll change it at the top. But we'll go back with the student I selected already. So once you have your student selected, at the bottom you'll tap on the Library tab, and from here you can select a recorded video of that student. Then you'll press Analyze. And in order to actually start the lesson, you'll press the V1 logo at the top and then hit Start Lesson. So once the lesson starts, you'll notice that the countdown timer at the bottom starts at five minutes, starts working its way down. You can see the student's name as well as the um, microphone bar moving back and forth as I'm speaking. You can also use different drawing tools by hitting the drawing tools icon at the top and you can draw different shapes use different lines to have your student key in on where you want them to look. In addition to that, you can also compare two videos side by side. So if I press the V1 logo, that'll pause your lesson, and now you have the option to compare at the top. If I select compare, that'll open up my library, and I can find a different video to compare to. So now I have two videos of my students side by side. When I select on one, I can just control that video. If I select the other, I can control that video as well. And I can also use the same drawing tools for each video. And when you think your lesson is good enough and you're ready to send it, you'll press the V1 logo at the top, press End Lesson, and this will take you to the, v the V1 lesson wrap-up screen. Once you're here, you can review the video, make sure that it looks good and sounds good. You can also title the video at the bottom. You can even add on additional content to your lesson, like intros and drills, by hitting the plus icon. And then when you're finished, you can send it to your student. When you do that, the video will be delivered to your student's email. They'll receive an, um, a notification where they can view it right away, and they'll also receive a text message. So that wraps it up for this tutorial. For additional one-on-one -on -one or group training, please cl click the link in the description to schedule an appointment. Thanks for choosing V1. If you want to use more video tutorials like these, press subscribe.